Okay, so um, there are other examples that we could cite um, of evil magic practices. So one that I find very interesting is the Ghana in Ghana um, within Africa. There is the, a nation. There's a group of people called the Ewe. So um, this would be here on sort of the western part of Africa, right around here. Here's Ghana. So the Ewe group has in a few started becoming uh, converted to Christianity a couple of centuries ago. And at this point, many, many, many Ewe people um, practice Christianity and specifically belong to an evangelical Presbyterian church within Ewe, uh, within their society. Uh, that's sort of a unique denomination to Ghana um, with some, some influences, obviously, from Presbyterianism as well as other forms of Christianity. Now, the Ewe are interesting because there's kind of the mainstream evangelical Presbyterian church, and then there's also this um, rapidly growing um, group that kind of informally, it's not like a separate denomination, but they meet to do like healing ceremonies, Christian healing ceremonies and drum circles. And now, it's interesting because um, within the Ewe, there's a belief in Abosam, and Abosam can be translated as witch, or it can also be translated as devil. Indeed, um, there's a great paper by, about this by Birgit Meyer from, I think, 98, and in, the title of it is, if you, it's a quote, and it's, if you are a devil, you are a witch, and if you are a witch, you are a devil. So the idea of Abosam among Ewe people is that an Abosam is potentially an evil magic user, um, an evil witch, but also that they're in league with devils, that they are able to curse other people by using devils. And indeed, you could call devils Abosam, and indeed, the devil is sort of the ultimate Abosam, like Satan. Um, what's interesting here is how um, Abosam beliefs come to kind of map onto traditional indigenous culture. Um, so to tell a bit of a story, uh, when European colonizers first arrived in the Ewe area, um, they referred to indigenous religious practitioners who had been called Abosam. Uh, in English, they would call them things like fetish priests. Uh, but there were these people that were sort of traditional religious practitioners that interacted with the spirits. And then they needed a term for devils in the Bible when they were translating it into Ewe. This is often a problem faced by world religions when they move into a new area, is how to translate foreign religion concepts into indigenous terms. And sometimes that's easy and sometimes that's hard. Uh, in this case, to describe the concept of devils uh, in the Bible and witchcraft, um, they would use the term abosam. And by doing so, and over time, because of some of the teachings of the Christian missionaries, the idea of devils and witches and indigenous religious practitioners all sort of became interlinked in people's minds. So nowadays, um, people think of Abosam as, among other things, tradition, people that are holding on to the pre-Christian religious traditions to do evil, to curse others, and that they're in league with the devils, and that like the old school spirits that the Ewe people were venerating were in fact devils. Uh, so when a world religion moves into an area, it oftentimes deals with the problem of the problem from the perspective of the world religion, of how to within their preaching and within their theology, how do you regard people's stories and experiences with indigenous spirits and gods? And one way to do that is to regard them as fictional. You guys were just ignorant and didn't realize that you were praying to nothing. Another way is to kind of try to integrate them and do a syncretism thing, uh, which is was really common, for example, for Roman polytheism when it would move into an area, say, oh, your gods are like our gods. Another common strategy uh, that missionaries in different cultures have taken on is to associate um, indigenous spirits and gods with evil forces. Say, yes, you were interacting with a real force, but it was an evil one. So that's how Christian missionaries chose to regard um, indigenous religion and religious practitioners among Iwe was as, yes, you had real power and have real power, but it's through evil forces. Okay. So fast forward to present day, you have these two different groups, the mainstream uh, Presbyterian denomination, and then this Bible study fellowship. And what's interesting is um, kind of in the, I think, 80s, they had the rise of a man named Pastor Zobo within the mainstream Presbyterian denomination. And he, um, and I should say, I knew an Ewe person, and they say that this is a pretty decent recounting of what happened. Pastor Zobo uh, was sort of formally educated. He was a and he um, had a lot of conversations with European theologians, and he wanted to develop sort of an African version 
of um, Christianity to appeal to his fellow Ewe and also just fellow Ghanaians more generally. And so he developed what he considered to be an Africanized way of thinking of Christianity that he called Mele Agbe theology, and it made reference to sort, certain sort of Ewe ideas such as family um, veneration. And with it was very much a Christian doctrine, but it was sort of a Ewe spin on it that he had intentionally kind of developed sort of to try to integrate the two. Um, and what's interesting is that a the point was to make Christianity more appealing to Ewe people and to honor traditional Ewe culture, but a lot of Ewe people rejected it um, out of hand and didn't really care for Pastor Tsobo's new kind of way of thinking about Christian theology, which goes against how we would, t you know, we would traditionally think that syncretisms tend to be popular. In this case, his was not. By contrast, um, the drum circle was getting very popular. And what's interesting about that is this healing circle, this drum circle, um, was devoted, among other things, to healing people of being cursed by Abosam and of sort of exercising or, or rejecting and casting out of Abosam. Uh, it was, which is interesting because those Abosam are associated with Ewe traditional spirits. So in one regard, you can consider this sort of anti-Ewe traditionalism. It's sort of like a Christian group that's demonizing um, traditional Ewe beliefs. So why would it be popular with Ewe people? Well, for one thing, they've been Christian for quite a while. But for another thing, as Bridget Myers points out, by sort of demonizing the past, they've also sort of venerate, they've sort of legitimized and acknowledged the past. So part of the problem with Pastor Zobo's theology is that he was very influenced by sort of modern liberal Christian thinkers out of Europe. And so he regarded these stories of devils and witches as kind of hooey nonsense. There's no real devil. The devil is like a fictional metaphor for people's evil. Um, whereas uh, a lot of Ewe were much more traditionalist ways of thinking about the devil and like the devil is literal and it's the Abosam. And in doing so in thinking of the devil as literal um, and devils as literal, they were in a way demonizing the practices of their ancestors, but in a way they were also legitimizing them in the sense that they were saying that the past practices were not just make-believe. They were powerful. They were just powerful because they were drawing on a dark power. Whereas Pastor Zobo's theology was implicitly saying that the past ceremonies were not powerful at all, that they were just pretend to make believe that they'd just been kind of religious idiots, so to speak, to oversimplify. And so um, it is interesting that in this case, Ewe people chose to prefer to demonize yet at the same time sort of validate past beliefs rather than just treat past beliefs as a mistake. Um, people would rather have thought of them as devilish than to have thought of them as ignorant and mistaken. It tells us a lot of interesting things about how people hold on to cultural traditions and what it means to hold on to a cultural tradition and that doesn't always look the same in every context. In some context they might be rejecting it and yet sort of validating it at the same time.